Hello everyone, we come to the second part of the Aerox breakdown. I will explain the effect that I used in the teaser video for Aerox, the Ancient Kings. As you know, iClone 8 has new content manager. And all plugins should also use the latest version accordingly, I'm also at a dead end about this, but there's still a way we can do it. Talking about VFX and iCone certainly can't be separated from Popcorn FX, the problem is that most of us don't have Popcorn FX for iCone 8. What I did was modify the effect with iClone 7. After all finished attaching popcorn FX to the character, then save the character. Import characters into iClone 8. We can use this method until the kits install Popcorn FX for iClone 8. Effects that have been edited and we attach to the character we can use in iClone 8, including the emitter sampler that we have changed to a character mesh. Next is the use of lens flare which is one of the new features that the iClone 8 relies on. It is quite noisy in providing light effects. If this can be developed into the main lighting system, this is a good thing. There are many effects that we can modify in iClone, even if it's particles from older versions of iClone like Legacy. We can use them to enhance the atmosphere. Then for the effect in this scene I used the music ball effect from Popcorn FX. Just like I explained earlier, I set it up in iClone 7. Add a music ball. Then in my modifier I use the character body as a sampler mesh on the emitter. After everything is ready save and import it into iCone 8. One thing we need to make this effect more interesting, namely creativity. Thank you for still being with iClonesia, see you in the next video.